everybody. Welcome back. Uh, this is Gino. I want to say welcome to all of my new subscribers um, and a big hello to all of you who have been with me for a while. Um, today I've got another journal that I've completed that I want to share with you. Um, now this journal is already sold, <clears throat> but I wanted to do a flip through so that um, it's a reference for myself and I thought you guys might want to see it. This is another altered envelope journal. And this one measures about four and three quarter by six and a half. It's a two signature journal. And then on the back here I've added a little pocket. The closure is an eyelet with some of the um, sorry silk. So let me just show you. Now this has had the beads wax um, done to it as well. And then on the back I've added this little lace fabric uh, pocket here and then I've made this. This is a fabric and paper tag with some little, a little saying there and a butterfly. Um, and then there's the back. I love this size journal. Um, they, they just have such a nice feel. You can throw them in your bag. I, I just absolutely love these. So I've added a book plate here. This has got multiple layers on the front and as I said it's all been done with the beeswax. Um, if you're interested in that I'll try to remember to link that below um, so that you can check that out. So, so I've left the um, the front and the back cover plain, um, so if the person wants to add a pocket to it, there's certainly uh, room to do so, but it was quite quite chunky as it was, and you can see I've lined this with, uh, with muslin. So, Okay, so these are some papers I've re recently purchased from Vectra um, Designs off of Etsy. Um, I can't recall off the top of my head the kit, um, but they, they have got some beautiful papers, so just check them out. Um, this is not a design team project for them, so you'll just have to uh, look them up. Okay, so recently I did a tutorial for my patrons um, on how to make this little altered uh, popsicle stick. Um, so this is one of the tutorials that uh, you would receive if you become a patron. I just love it. I think it's beautiful. I, I, there's so many uses for those. And then you could also add a tag to that pocket. Um, so here I just made a little, one of the little, um, this is one of the little slides that was gifted to me from Charlotte Peterson. Thank you, Charlotte. So I have, what I've done here is made a, a pocket, so there's a double pocket here, and then that flips over and tucks behind this little tag. And I will have a tag for that. I, I overlook that, so I'll add a little tag to that before this goes out. Um, I've done lots of stenciling in this. This is a bit of handmade paper that I, was left over, so I've just made a little ruffle there. And then you remember some time back I did a little, I did a tutorial on how to make these little, um, little flower bouquets. And this is an altered envelope and inside I've added a little journal card that's been stamped and distressed. Old paper, a lot of stitching in here. I've left the strings. Um, I just think it looks really nice that way. Some old vintage, um, flower uh, book page. Like I said, a lot of stenciling, a lot of stitching. Added some of uh, these beautiful uh, stickers that I've recently picked up. And then this flips over and here I've put another tag inside this little pocket. Um, here another large pocket so more things can be added. Stamping. This is another um, little slide I made using the Tracy Fox, one of her kits there, and this is a tuck spot, and I love this page. So the 
this is the center of the signature. These are beautiful papers to work with. I love the blue because it's um, don't seem to find a lot of blue kits. And then here is a decoupage tag that I made for it. Um, another little stamped one, very much nature um, themed. And then another little stamp here. And then this is another little tag journaling card I made there. Another pocket here and another little bit to do some journaling on. And then this one I've made a large flip out. So you've got a pocket here with a little tag. And then this flips over so that you've got a lot of writing space there. And then it's also got a little handmade tag that I put in. I've collaged this little uh, tiny envelope I've had for ages. And I just ran across it in my some of my shifting around. <laughs> Every time I start to clear out a bit, I find things that, that I completely forgot I've even had. Um, here, this is a baking sheet um, paper that I've stitched into a pocket and then decoupaged on, and then this is just a tiny little notebook that I've added. Um, three sheets, I don't know. Yeah, I think there's three. Maybe there's only two there, so there's extra writing there. Here I've made a little scrapping notepad, and that's all been stitched, more stenciling. Just a little <coughs> scallop um, envelope that I've folded up. I haven't glued it in case um, it, they want to use it to write in. Fabric belly band here. Uh-oh. Glue seep through. Oh, goodness. I must stop doing that. <laughs> so I tucked a little tag there. I absolutely love those buttons. <clears throat> Some hand uh, handmade paper. Isn't that beautiful paper? I love that blue as well. And then here is one of Tracy Fox's little tea cards. <coughs> Excuse me. Another tuck spot here. And then on this one... Um, this was gifted to me, so this is a little tag um, with a pocket there. Isn't that beautiful? That was gifted to me during the Friendship Journal Challenge. Another little altered uh, Project Life card there that I've tucked into that pocket. Some more little tags for my stash. And then um, here I've added one of my large jumbo uh, fabric altered paper clips. And then this is a um, altered mini ro Rolodex card that I've created. I've been playing with my jelly plate. And uh, this is some transfer that I've done. Um, and I would normally... <clears throat> work within these colors, but I have to say this was very effective and I loved it. Um, and that is going to be a future tutorial for my patrons as well. Uh, I just I, I don't want to do anything with the jelly plate until I'm I feel as though I've I've got enough experience to to show something. But that was very very fun, and I loved the result of that. I just. Um, it just wouldn't normally be the colors <clears throat> that I'd be drawn to. So, <clears throat> doily, excuse me, guys. It's really early here, and my throat's just, uh, it's high pollen, and uh, i got to say, I've never been affected, but uh, this year it seems to be getting to me a bit. Another um, gift for me was uh, these beautiful butterfly paper clips. absolutely love those. Little, um journal card there. And then this, <clears throat> I did a tutorial on this little using book pages. 
not too long ago. So if you if you see anything that I've done and I pointed out, you can always check out my playlist. I've got one for tutor, um, tutorials, and if it's not under there, it might have gone into another. I've, tr I've been trying to, um, you know, get several different playlists. So if you're only interested in book page ideas, you know, and so on. But this one I think is in the book page and the, the tutorials, so you can check that out. I love how that came out. And that's just been back to this uh, old book page here. Another pocket here. Some more items can be added. And then here is another tag I made. That's tucked into this pocket. butterfly with some Irish linen thread. And then here, these are some uh, flowers I've picked on one of my walks, and I've done some stitching around that. That's been laminated. And then a butterfly with some old lace there. And then over here, uh, now this is an original tea card. I've tucked that in. And then several little um, tags, and this is just a little die cut that I have in my stash. I've tucked that in. more of the handmade paper. So there's a lot of writing spaces you can see. Here I've made a, a wallpaper pocket and then added that tag there. And as I said, that is my latest nature journal. And uh, I wanted to, sh to document it before it goes out. It's going to be going out in the mail today or tomorrow. So I thought I better jump on here and get a video very quickly. I hope you guys have been enjoyed that. And um, I hope everybody's staying safe and well. And I hope that you have a great week ahead. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Bye.